Good afternoon, this is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, just doing a virtual tour on our 2020 Toyota Corolla with only 21,000 kilometres uh, for $25,990 drive away on sale. Uh, just as we discussed over the phone, like I said, it's just a, a nice easy way for us to show you around the car uh, in its, all its condition, the service history, everything like that. It's just a, we like being as transparent as we possibly can. So just a quick idea obviously who we are, so like I said, we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. So this is uh, one of our two pre-owned vehicle yards. This is actually the biggest one of the two. So we house about probably 80 cars here, uh, roughly. And we've got another uh, pre-owned vehicle yard, probably about 10 k's closer to town. We house about probably 60 to 70 cars at any one time as well. So across the road, we've got our new vehicles, uh, Toyota and Lexus showrooms just up there on the hill. And then across the road, we've got our service drop-offs and parts and accessories over there too, where all that the solar farm is. So a pretty big operation, but um, yeah, it's, it's a, what makes it so efficient and get such good cars. So just coming back, like I said, we've got the 2020 Toyota Corolla down here. So we'll start off with the front, take it right down to the wheels. So the first sort of scratches that I could find, like I said, it's all about being as transparent as we possibly can. A couple of little sort of gravel rashes just on the actual rim itself there. If you can't see it in the, uh, in the video, let me know, and I'll get some photos through instead. So I'll try and get that camera up into the wheel arch, it's sort of very hard to see with the shadows there, that's probably a little bit better. But really clean, really well looked after. Uh, all our cars we guarantee, so we won't take anything that's been written off or in accidents or anything like that. So with all your car history reports, uh, roadworthies, everything as well. So I'll just give you a good look across that bonnet. So very, very clean. Very straight. And all the way down the front. So right up to the grill. Just up under here, it looks like it's just hit like a gutter. Uh, or a driveway, something like that. There's a little bit of scratching up underneath, but besides that, it's actually quite tidy. There's a couple of just bits of dirt and things like that. They're not actually chips. There's some little ones there, and that's some dirt as well. So any of those little chips like that, um, obviously it's very hard to notice until you're actually up close, but we can get them touched up if it is a concern for you. So I'll just take you across the grill here. Give you a really good idea of the front of the car there too. You can see my awesome shadow in the background there again just that same sort of scratching just underneath there where they found that gutter so right across that guard as well too so we're now on the passenger side uh, wheel as well so miles of tread left in these guys I'm not sure if you can see where my fingers are there I'll try and get that into the camera but heaps left on there uh, they've got to be within a certain standard for the road where these certificates anyway but that room looks pretty clean to me. A uh, little bit of dirt, but it's just from the rain that we've been having. So don't stress about that. We get them redetailed before we send to you. We get our guys to give it another wash. So I'll just take you up over that windscreen as well. So like I said, on sale was 26,490 drive away. It's now down to 25,990 as well. So one of the cheapest. Now uh, this was an Ozcare car. So we buy, we get a scoop purchase with these uh, where we purchase uh, we sell them in fleets basically in groups to um, to Oscar themselves and we turn them over and we get them as used cars So great service history really well looked after and um, yeah, it's a really good scoop purchase that we do So I'll just show you across that roof as well So Very very nice and tidy And back down to that side as well And to the rear bar Take you across that rear wheel as well so again a little bit of gutter rash just on the very, very edge there. And those tires, just miles of tread left on there as well. So while I'm here, I'll actually open up that door. Show you inside the back of the car, that door card for the passenger rear door. So a very, very sunny day here today. So I'm try... not sure what you'll be able to uh, see through the computer with the shadows, but if anything's a little bit hard to see, let me know and we'll organize some photos instead. So again, just those sort of high traffic areas where people are getting in and out. That's actually very, very tidy. Uh, just take you across those seats there as well. Uh, super well looked after. So you've got the floor mats across the back there too, so I'll just show up under those so you can see as well. I'm not trying to hide anything, we just leave all that stuff in the car for you. And take you into that passenger side front door. Again, cross that door card. Very well looked after. It looks like a tiny little sort of scratch there, but nothing too serious. Again, across that entryway. The genuine floor mats. I'll just lift those up again for you. Get under there. There you go. So very clean. Super well looked after. 
So while I'm here, just take you across the dash too. So again, no chips or cracks or anything like that. While I've got you here. So inside, we've got all your manuals, your books, everything's just inside the glove box. Uh, this one, uh, because again, through Oscar, we get two keys, which is great. Make sure they've got those, so your central locking's all there for you. Genuine keys. Uh, just that first owner again, like I said. And then the service. I'll just get to the important bits for you. Do, 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 do. Let me go back this way. So, recently done by us, which is great. Uh, 24th of May, 2021 at 21,000 Ks through Colin Motors, which is, um, which is us as well. So, really well looked after. Um, like I said, we, we only really get cars with as good a history as we possibly can. And um, obviously as good a nick as we can as well. So I'll take you around the back here. Across that rear window. So no cracks or anything like that to be concerned about. And the rest of that rear bumper there too. So you've got your little reverse camera just up under that as well. Hiding there. So a couple of little sort of minor luggage marks. So one little scuff there and there as well. That one looks like it's into the paint and it just looks like a chip that's been repaired as well. And then just over to this side here, a little scuff, and a couple of little scuffs as well. So I only really noticeable once you actually get up close, but again, like I said, the whole point of this video is about being transparent with you. So you got the entry for the boot just under there, the button, you can see there. So inside, you've got your parcel shelf and everything here as well. So again, we leave all that in there for you. So I just push that little one up to get to the spare wheel. And you can see spare wheel under there. Never been used a day in its life, which is great. All your tools and your jacks all in the outside. Tucks back in there. So those seats will fold down. There's a 60 40 split for those as well, and that parcel shelf will come out really easy too. So it just clips out. So it gives you a much bigger boot in doing so. So I'll just take you. So a little bit of a scuff just on the actual plastic there in the black. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera again. If it's a concern, I'll just get some photos through instead. So I'll take you down the driver's side now, across that roof. Yeah, very clean. Again, so a little bit of sort of fingernail marks just on the inside of the driver's uh, handle there, being that high traffic area where people's fingers and rings and things like that go in. But again, it's with such low Ks, you can see why it's been looked after so well. Same thing with the back handle there. And I'll just open those up. Take you down to this last tyre. So again, the GM alloy rims the, whole, uh, rims the whole way around. And miles of tread. Try to give you a good picture in there as well. You can see how well it's been looked after. And that's why we like doing business with them because they do treat their cars very well for when we get them back, which is great. So again, just that entryway. Across those seats. So your child anchor points on all three seats as well, which is great. Makes it real easy. Close this one back up. And just the driver's door. So again, this is probably the most sort of high traffic area of the car. Even still, pretty well looked after. Hey, looks like a little bit of sort of scuff just on that plastic there. But the actual handle, everything else looks very, very clean. So that main entryway, don't stress about that. That just looks like a bit of dirt again. Like I said, it has been raining, and of course it does have us jumping in and out of the cars. So we got all the genuine floor mats down there. I'll just look those up another time for you. So very clean. So you've got all your height adjustments for the seats here, the uh, back half adjustment there and the bar underneath to roll back and forth. I'm going to jump in here and start it up because it is a scorching day today. And we'll get some aircon going. So again, like I said, you do have your two keys with this one. We can close that door up, flip one of those out, start her up. Now I'm short so we'll just have to move up a bit. There we go, much better. So just your start-up menu, saying good day. No entry light, uh, no warning lights or dash lights or anything like that to be concerned about. Just that original, like I said, 21,000 Ks, 412 on there. So very, very low, very well looked after. Up on the steering wheel, obviously all your controls. Uh, cruise control on the right-hand side, uh, as well as your adaptive cruise control and your lane departure as well. Your controls for the, uh, for the radio settings, so you can jump between your Bluetooth, your AM, your FM, and then switch between stations and songs there. And the rest is all your volume controls and the rest of your controls for the actual display. 
a roll up on the left hand side here too. So you can still answer the phones and all that through here. Once the, um, somebody rings in, it comes up on the main display. So that while you're driving, all your focus is up here on the steering wheel. You don't have to worry about the, um, the display itself. Up on the left hand, so all your wipers are pretty standard. You do have an automatic setting for your headlights over on the right hand side, which we've got set to at the moment. Otherwise, it's just your standard parkers and headlights like they should be. Um, down here, I will just, like I said, it does have a reverse camera. So once we flick that down to reverse, you can see that one there. So it makes it much handier. And like I said, everything is all touch screen up on this one too. So we go back to that menu button, all your audio options, your phone apps and everything as well. So my apologies, it's very, very sunny here today, so it's a little bit hard to see. But we'll um, just use that, like I said. So very well set up. Super clean. Uh, you've got the black interior as well. But really nice cars, amazing to drive. Electric handbrakes. And uh, yeah, so like I said, that probably concludes the virtual tour for now. If I've missed anything or you can't quite see anything in the video due to that sunlight, just let me know. And um, I'll get some uh, photos through for you. And look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.